But some companies need to create GS1 barcodes, which is a common standard in supply chain and medical device labeling, and CodeSoft has a really handy wizard for creating those as well. Uh, you can find that just under the barcode generation wizard. It's in this little arrow, and then just click the GS1 wizard uh, right there. And then same as before, click anywhere on the label to place the new GS1 barcode. So GS1 barcodes are made up of different elements called application identifiers. And to get started here, we'll go ahead and click add. And you'll see right away that there are a ton of different application identifiers you can use in a GS1 barcode. Uh, the ones that you'll need will be defined on internal specs uh, for creating the barcode. Um, for our example, we'll use the 01 here, the G10, which is pretty common in a lot of GS1 specs. Um, just as before, we can type in our G10 data statically here and down below CodeSoft does the hard work for you by putting it into the GS1 spec. Also, as just as before, we can use a when printed field to populate this data um, by hitting variable and creating another when printed field prior to opening up this wizard. We'll just stick with fixed for now. Um, we'll go ahead and hit OK and add it to our barcode. So we'll go ahead and add another identifier to our barcode to make it a little bit longer here. Um, we'll use a, an expiration date and you know based on the list whatever you're adding um, it could be difficult to page through all the different identifiers so you can just go ahead and search it up here if you know what number you need um, for dates especially there is a date variable here in CodeSoft that we can create uh, to populate this for us so it'll automatically pull from the system clock all the time um, right now we'll just use a static to populate our barcode so that looks good, that fits the spec that we have uh, here internally, so we'll go ahead and hit OK, and the barcode will be generated on the label. If you find that you need to update your GS1 barcode, say we don't need that expiration date anymore, we can right click and go into Edit GS1 Data Structure, uh, highlight it, and then just delete it. So now our barcode is still fitting to the GS1 spec without needing to create a new one. Thanks for watching. For more information, visit our website at www.techlinks.com or visit our support center at support.techlinks.com.